Hey guys, it's me, the dude who talks, and welcome to today's video. Um, before I get things going, I just want to apologise for the lack of updates. As you're well aware, there's been a lot of gig cancellations, so I haven't had much to talk about in the past couple of weeks. I did go to Dystopian Future Movies the other week, which was a gig I managed to get to. However, I probably won't be doing a video on it because I had to leave um, at the beginning of the last band set, which was Gravelines, so I didn't think it'd be fair to like miss them off. So yeah, apologies for that, but I'm here now, and I'm here to talk about a new album from the band After the Abduction called Cracked and Bled. So, Cracked and Bled, which may or may not be a reference to um, what can happen if you don't moisturise your hands and you have dry skin. Yeah, the Cracked and Bled is the upcoming album, which is out on the 27th of March through UK EM Records, um, through the Manchester band After the Abduction. Um, so yeah, a little bit about After the Abduction. Um, they were formed in 2015. They're from Manchester. Yes. Essentially, they are a five-piece death metal band um, featuring... Ben Lane and Lewis Tyson on guitars respectively, um, Liam McBeef on drums, Joel Eastwood on bass, and last but not least, Chris Sykes on vocals. So with that out the way, did I dig the record or did I hate it that much that I wanted to brand them life metal? Well, let's find out. But before reading the press release email and actually listening to it the first time, I had this impression in my head that it was going to be very slam orientated, a lot of pig squeals and breakdowns, and I wasn't sure whether I was going to like it or not. Honestly, no disrespect to people who like slam. I've got really nothing against it. It's just not kind of my thing. But anyway, from my initial listen, from the get-go, I was so happy to be proven wrong. What got me was how immediate the opening track, Blood, was. There was no intro whatsoever. It was just right then. It's just pure ferocity from the get-go. From the first five seconds of listening to Blood, I knew what Cracked and Bled was going to be about. It was going to be something that was ferocious, brutal and heavy. And yeah, you can hear from yourselves. Here is a sample. itself is 24 minutes and it rarely gives you a chance to breathe while it's pummeling you in the face with some hard as fuck riffs. The vocals have this low guttural scream though they do go a bit higher. However being that being said um, Chris Sykes vocals reminded me a lot of David Davidson from Revocation. With Revocation being mentioned they definitely geared towards a more tech death style there's a lot of fast-paced drumming, a lot of complex song structures involved, and that definitely got me more engaged with every listen because I was like picking things up that I missed from the first listen. Or it was nice to just find those little intricacies that in the record as well. The while their riffs are fast and deadly, the third track called "Stuck in Fat" has this slower but really chunky riff at the start which leads off into this huge, like, chaotic song structure. I honestly think this song is a huge standout for me. And here's a clip. What I can tell from these guys is that they really push themselves on this album as it feels really lean, there's no fat to be found at all on the album and I don't think there's any bullshit whatsoever. Um, maybe, I did think they maybe could have been a little bit of a segues between a couple of songs just for a little bit of a breather but I don't think that really matters when you're just getting pummeled in the face with something that just like feels like a monster. Um, but I'm just thinking maybe just for atmosphere. Though I do have to credit the musicianship on the record. I just feel it's very tight-knit. 
I feel like the songwriting needs to be mentioned. I feel like it's on a whole different level from a lot of bands at the moment. Um, especially with the album closer, Morning Rock. I feel that this song is where the lads give it their all. Here's a small clip of it. Well, it's a hard-hitting monster of an album. If you've got 24 minutes to spare, I think you'll fucking love this album, especially if you're a fan of bands like Revocation, Black Dahlia Murder, and Out of Heaven. So yeah, it is out on the March 27th through UK EM Records. So yeah. So that was me talking about After the Abduction with their upcoming debut album, Cracked and Bled. So, yeah, I'm interested to know what you think about the album. Um, are you interested in picking it up or have you just had enough of death metal? So, yeah, my next video should hopefully be coming in either this weekend or next week. Um, I just kind of wanted to check in with everybody. Um, wanted to make sure everyone's safe and because I know there's a lot of shit going on with this epidemic. And yeah, just stay safe. And if someone's like saying stay in quarantine, please do. Just only go out if it's necessary. I know it sounds patronising, but please, for the love of Batman, wash your hands. And yeah, hopefully in the upcoming future, we'll be all enjoying gigs later in the year. I really hope so. So yeah, you guys are absolutely fucking awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Like always, if you've enjoyed watching me ramble on, please like, share and subscribe. And one last thing before I say bye, I'm also on Facebook. Please give that a like. I will definitely be trying my best to update that more. So yeah, I've been the dude who talks. You guys have been fucking awesome and I'll see you soon. Begin with a bone, I'm going strong, my dearest forest, I'm dying.